Hi, we're Antonia and Richard. Welcome to Ant and Dick's Excellent Adventure. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. You join us. It is January the uh, 15th. 15th. And we're on a special trip to London today on a bit of a mission. It's currently minus three here in Dorset. Uh, <laughs> all that smoke, that's not something on fire, that's exhaust fumes out of Douglas <laughs> as he's warming up and breathe them in, they're lovely. God, these are exhaust fumes, you can't beat it first thing in the morning. Oh, 800 hours and we're off to London. Come with us. See you soon. Which way should we go? This is going to look both ways. Can't see through the railings. Anyway, the Thames. Very fine eateries, I do believe. I'm sure. They're full of very expensive eateries. And well. the Richmond Odeon. You've given it away now. There we are. <laughs> In Odeon. I see, I did film the sign of a while back. Yeah. <laughs> Costa Coffee, look. Who'd have thought? I've got everything here. Oh, I remember going to see James Bond Moonraker. Roger, Roger Moore. Moore. Actor. See that sign? Yeah. There's loads of them around. Is that that women only nightclub yeah. or something? <laughs> Is that what that's advertising? <laughs>
Richmond Park. So here we are then, uh, outskirts of London, uh, a secret location, but I can't uh, tell you where it is because uh, this is where Anne's mum lives. So we're going to leave Douglas here um, because we're going into central London, um, Knightsbridge direction. We're going to jump in a taxi, which saves all that nasty parking, driving in London thing. And um, we'll catch up with you a bit later. And just as a sideline, here we are outside the Royal College of Music. If you can see that over there. There. This is it. What a beautiful, beautiful building. Mm -hmm. Now this evidently is where Aunt's mum and dad first met. How fantastic. And uh, it comes a bit of a shock to me really. Because for the last 15 years that we've known each other, you said your dad was a conductor. <laughs> Here's me thinking he worked on the bloody buses. <laughs> <laughs> no, he conducted his own string orchestra and he played the cello. He was, yeah. he, was a, he was a senior professor at the Royal College of Music. How cool is that? Quite. Much better than it being on the buses. when I was very young. So, so there you go. Yeah. I learned something today. Not on the buses after all. Not on the buses. <laughs>